back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be making a cheeseburger wrap in the air fryer. We are going to be doing pretty much basically the same setup as a hamburger, except for we are using ground beef instead of patties. So I went ahead and cooked up some hamburger. I have about a pound here, and I topped it with some gourmet burger seasoning. This you can cook right in with your hamburger as you're cooking it, or you can just top it if you would like. So I just went ahead and just put it right on top. I have just a couple things for toppings. So I have my onions, pickles, and cheese. Go ahead and make up some of these wraps. I'm just gonna be doing two wraps. I think that's all, I, um, all the hamburger I have to make two wraps. So I'm gonna take two out of there. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of mix it up a little bit because I have the seasoning just right on top. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of hamburger on both of these. I probably could get maybe another two wraps out of a pound of hamburger, but we're just gonna make two today. So I'm gonna top these with a piece of pickle that I have here already sliced of onions on top also. And I have one slice of cheese here. I just kind of folded it in half and we're gonna do that. And I'm probably not gonna add ketchup to it right away just because I don't want it to be over like juicy and stuff in there. So I just wanna cook it as is. And we can always top this with anything afterwards. So you can add your ketchup, your mustard, or have all that on the side and eat it that way. If you like your hamburgers with hot sauce or any other things. So I'm gonna start wrapping these up and putting them in the air fryer. And then I will show you guys the setting that I'm using to cook these up with. And then if you guys want, why don't you guys share with me down in the comments below if you guys ever tried this before or if you guys, what you guys add to your hamburgers, if you guys make your hamburgers differently or anything like that. Usually when we make our hamburgers, we make it different than this anyways, but this is just kind of a fun extra um, snack to make up quick if you don't want to do hamburger patties. So let's get started with rolling. I just usually bring in the sides and then just fold it over. So then it'll look just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one. So just tuck all that in there. If you guys want to make bigger wraps, you can get bigger tortillas and then um, you could add extra stuff in there. You could also add like eggs and make it more of an omelet style. Maybe I'll make one of them next time in the air fryer. So we'll see, I'll think about that. So I'm not gonna spray or anything because this isn't really something that's gonna stick to the bottom of my air fryer. I do have a removable tray that I can just pull out and clean anyways. So I'm not gonna worry about that today. I got this out of my new air fryer. I did not get this one or I did not get this in um, my last air fryer. So this is the actual first time that I'm using this today. So we're gonna give this a try. What you need to do with this is pump it a couple times and then that helps with um, putting air in there for you to be able to spray it. So I think I have this link down below in my description for you guys to get one if you guys wanna do this instead of like uh, a regular spray from the store. So why don't you guys go check that out. I also have air fryer down there, like a link to that in Amazon. And then I also have like accessory kits and stuff like that if you guys wanna check that out. So I think I'm just gonna spray this down just a little bit, not my, not my pan, but my wraps, that's what I'm gonna be spraying down. So you're gonna to wanna to set your air fryer to 400 and you're gonna to wanna to cook it for four minutes. We're gonna let that cook up and we're gonna check on it in four minutes and see if it's done. Okay, so it's been four minutes and they are fully cooked. We're gonna go ahead and cut them so we can see how good they look on the inside. All 
All right, so this is what they look like so far. We're just gonna cut them up. Show you what that looks like quick so that's what they look like on the inside i'm kind of really excited to try these out they look so good when i saw this recipe i was like i needed to try it so i'm hoping that they taste as yummy as they look so let me just plate this up quick i found these little things at hobby lobby so if you guys are looking for something like this it came in a four pack and um, you can just use this with fries and different things. Or if you wanna, you know, if you're gonna have like a summer party or something like this, that and you wanna cook some of these up, you could just uh, get a couple of them and they'll fit right in here. So I have two of them in here so far. And then I will side it with some ketchup. So with summer coming up, this is something, something different that you guys could serve to like your friends and family. If you guys have a bigger air fryer, I have a seven quart. I probably could fit four or five of the wraps in there and then just cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And um, that should work out just fine too. So. Other than that guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I'll be making a cheeseburger